Ever wondered what engine knocking is and why it's dangerous? Today we're going to explore that. Engine knocking is a perilous occurrence, a ticking time bomb that could lead to severe engine damage or even complete failure. Now, imagine the unburned working mixture in your engine, compressed by the burned gases acting like a piston. If the pressure and temperature exceed critical values, we enter the danger zone of self-ignition known as knocking. This phenomenon results in an explosive velocity of flame propagation, which can be detrimental to your engine. Prevention is key to avoiding engine knocking. Choosing the right fuel, keeping an eye on the ignition system's condition and adjustments, ensuring adequate engine cooling and avoiding overloading or overheating the engine are all crucial preventative measures. By understanding how engine knocking occurs, we can better prevent it and maintain our engines. What exactly happens when an engine knocks? Let's get into the science of it. Engine knocking or detonation is a complex process that starts with the unburned working mixture in the combustion chamber. As the flame front propagates, this mixture is compressed by the burned gases behind the flame front, which act on it like a piston. The pressure and temperature rise and if they exceed the critical values for the specific fuel, conditions are created for self-ignition. This self-ignition is what we call engine knocking, but what causes the knocking sound? The answer lies in the explosive velocity of flame propagation, a characteristic feature of knocking. This phenomenon is generally associated with the formation of peroxides in some parts of the combustion chamber. Under high pressure and temperature, a chemical process occurs forming these peroxides. This process takes time and is more likely to occur in areas distant from the spark plug and exposed to high pressure for longer periods. The working mixtures heating by the hot chamber walls, especially in narrow slots, also contributes to this. The compression ratio plays a significant role too. The higher the compression ratio, the more likely the occurrence of knocking. When part of the charge detonates, shock waves are formed, which propagate at a speed of up to 1,000 meters per second and hit the walls of the combustion chamber. While these shock waves cannot directly destroy the walls, they transfer part of their kinetic energy, causing local overheating and vibration. If this knocking combustion continues for long enough, it can result in the burning or destruction of metal parts, most often the piston, plug or valve. So, the knocking comes from these shock waves, which can lead to engine damage if not addressed. This is a crucial part of understanding engine knocking. The science behind it isn't just about the sound, but about the potential damage it can cause to your engine. Now that we know how engine knocking happens, let's talk about when it's most likely to occur. Engine knocking is more probable under certain conditions. Picture an engine running with the throttle fully open and the crankshaft speed low. This situation maximizes the filling of the cylinders with fresh mixture while minimizing the residual gases. The parts of the charge distant from the plug are exposed to pressure and temperature for a greater amount of time, which is sufficient for the formation of peroxides that contribute to knocking. Think of it like this. The working mixture under the pressure of the burned gases behind the flame front is like a piston compressing the unburned mixture. When the pressure and temperature exceed critical values for a given fuel, conditions are ripe for self-ignition or knocking. The explosive velocity of flame propagation is a telltale sign of this phenomenon. This high pressure, high temperature environment also promotes the formation of peroxides in some parts of the combustion chamber. Peroxides formed under the influence of pressure and temperature play a significant role in initiating knocking. This process requires time and typically occurs in areas farthest from the spark plug and longest exposed to high pressure. The heating of the working mixture by the hot chamber walls, especially in narrow slots, further contributes to knocking. The likelihood of knocking increases with the compression ratio. When part of the mixture detonates, shock waves are created, traveling at speeds up to 1,000 meters per second. These waves transfer part of their kinetic energy to the combustion chamber walls, causing local overheating and vibration. Over time, this can lead to damage or even destruction of metal parts like the piston, plug, or valve. A clear manifestation of these conditions is familiar to every driver. If you've ever accelerated from a low initial speed with a fully open throttle and heard ringing knocking knocks, you've experienced this firsthand. 
Understanding when engine knocking is most likely can help us prevent it from happening. Often, people confuse engine knocking with another phenomenon known as pre-ignition. Although they may seem similar, they are two distinct occurrences that affect your engine differently. Pre-ignition happens when the fuel-air mixture in the engine's combustion chamber ignites prematurely. This premature ignition can be triggered by the hot surface of a component within the combustion chamber, such as the spark plug or the piston. Think of it like lighting a firework too early, it goes off before it's supposed to, causing a disruption. In theory, pre-ignition can occur either before or after the spark plug fires, but for our discussion we'll focus on the former, as this is the type that poses a real threat to the engine. When pre-ignition happens, combustion happens as it normally would, but at an earlier time. This is akin to having your ignition timing spontaneously advance beyond the optimal point which can lead to a significant rise in the temperature of the combustion chamber parts. The result? A sudden and sharp drop in engine power. If left unchecked, this can cause overheating and damage to the engine. Pre-ignition is most likely to occur when the engine is running at maximum power, with the throttle fully open and the revs at their peak. But this is not a typical scenario for everyday driving. It's more common in high-performance situations such as racing. Factors that can contribute to pre-ignition include an excessively early spark, a rich fuel-air mixture, and inadequate cooling of the cylinders. Sharp edges or burrs in the combustion chamber can also be harmful, as they can create hot spots that can trigger pre-ignition. So while engine knocking and pre-ignition both involve abnormal combustion, they are distinct phenomena. Understanding the difference can help you diagnose and address issues with your engine more effectively, up next, we'll discuss the signs of engine knocking so you know what to watch out for. Now that we've distinguished engine knocking from pre-ignition, let's dive into the causes of engine knocking and ways to prevent it. Engine knocking can be caused by a variety of factors. First off, poor fuel quality. If the fuel has a low octane rating, it can easily ignite from the high temperature and pressure in the cylinders, leading to early ignition of the mixture and detonation. So, what can you do? It's simple. Only fill up with quality fuel that meets the vehicle manufacturer's recommendations. Next up, engine overheating. If the engine is running under heavy load or has insufficient cooling, its temperature can rise above normal. This can also contribute to early ignition of the mixture and detonation. Keep an eye on the temperature readings on your dashboard and avoid overloading the engine. Regularly check the coolant level and the condition of the radiator to prevent this. Another cause is an incorrect setting of the ignition system. If the system isn't working correctly, the spark may not appear at the right moment, but earlier or later. This can also lead to detonation. To avoid this, make sure to change the spark plugs, wires, coil and distributor in time. Also, check and adjust the ignition advance angle. If your car is equipped with a turbocharger or compressor, excessive air injection can occur. Pressurized air enters the cylinders, increasing the compression ratio of the mixture. This can also contribute to detonation. Control the pressure of the pressurized air and do not exceed the limit values. Also use fuel with a high octane rating to prevent this. Lastly, contamination of the combustion chamber can lead to engine knocking. If deposits from burned fuel form on the walls and pistons of the cylinders, they can serve as additional sources of ignition of the mixture. To avoid this, it is necessary to periodically clean the combustion chamber with special additives or professional equipment. By understanding these causes and taking preventive measures, you can keep engine knocking at bay and ensure a smoother and safer ride. In this part of the video, let's address some common misconceptions about engine knocking. If you are hearing strange knocks in the engine, it's not always due to detonation. A more probable explanation could be the self-ignition of fuel due to engine overheating or abundant soot in the combustion chambers. So, if you hear these knocks during alternating driving modes, for instance, in city driving, don't be too quick to blame pre-ignition. Pre-ignition indeed leads to reduced power and engine efficiency, as well as increased emissions. But it's important to note that pre-ignition differs from engine pinging. In the case of knocking, the fuel ignites simultaneously throughout the cylinder causing a sudden spike in pressure and temperature that can damage the piston or cylinder head. Detonation typically happens when low octane fuel is used or when the engine is overloaded. By understanding these nuances and differences, you can better diagnose what's really happening in your engine and take appropriate action. So how can we tell if our engine is knocking? Let's look at the signs. 
Unmistakable signs of engine knocking can often be spotted if one knows what to look for. The most prominent of these is increased engine smoke. This isn't your typical exhaust fume, rather it's a thick black smoke billowing out of the exhaust pipe. Picture the smoke from a diesel engine, but much darker and denser. This is a clear indication that the combustion process within the engine is not going as it should. Next, there's a noticeable drop in power. When engine knocking happens, the efficiency of the combustion process is compromised. That means less power is generated, and you'll feel it in the form of sluggish acceleration or a lack of responsiveness when you step on the gas. It's like trying to run a marathon with only half a lung. Also, keep your ears open for a pinging or knocking sound. This is often the first sign of trouble. It's a sound that's hard to miss. A kind of metallic knocking or pinging that's out of place in the engine's usual symphony of sounds. It's like a drummer playing out of beat in a concert. You can't help but notice it. Lastly, watch out for signs of overheating. This can be indicated by an unusually high reading on your engine temperature gauge or even the smell of burning oil or coolant. Remember, engine knocking generates shock waves that cause local overheating and vibration. Over time, this can lead to serious damage, including burning or destroying metal parts such as the piston, plug or valve. By recognizing these signs and understanding what causes engine knocking, we can take steps to prevent it and keep our engines running smoothly. It's not only about preventing damage or avoiding costly repairs, it's about ensuring your vehicle performs at its best, giving you a smoother and safer ride. So stay vigilant, listen to your engine, and remember, prevention is always better than cure.